Which guy is the master of Best Buy? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now, it's been a minute since I've been to Best Buy. Of course, it's, it's been almost a year since I've been in a department store in general. You remember stores? <laughs> Not really. Uh, well, actually, I do finally remember back in the day, I'd spend an hour in the Best Buy just looking at DVD box sets and CDs and the new PlayStation 2. Oh, the 2? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, I'd even hang out one. with the washing machines. Okay, well, grab your putter because we're heading back in to the store, that is. It's time for Pick and Putt Best Buy Edition. Welcome to the putting zone. Okay, first thing I gotta get rid of this jacket, this cumbersome green uh, jacket that I've worn every single time. Caddy! Oh, that's not just any caddy, that's Geek Squad, Geek Caddy Chase. Yeah, Geek Twice. <laughs> geek Man in twice. the green today. All right, you know how this game works. Uh, we've got, uh, it's mini golf, and the woman with a lovely voice is going to uh, ask us a question uh, about Best Buy, and each question will have three possible answers. We're gonna try to hit our balls into in the, the one hole of those holes with the correct answer. Okay, like golf, each putt counts as a stroke. Strokes are bad. If our ball goes into the hole, that's the wrong answer. We get two penalty strokes as well. Whoever has the lowest score at the end of this game gets to wear and keep the coveted winner's jacket. Until next time. May the course be with you. May the course be with you. Look at this! What? We've got freaking dual turntables. We've got a DJ booth over here. Watch and yourself. It is spinning fast. Wow. Look at that. You're a natural. Just to give you an idea, that's how fast that one's going. Okay. Ready Lovely play? voiced woman. When Best Buy first opened its stores in 1966, they specialized in selling high fidelity stereo equipment mm -hmm. and had a completely different name. Before they officially changed their name to Best Buy in 1983, what was the electronics giant originally called? Was it Boss Sound Town, the Supersonic Sound Emporium, or the Sound of Music? Okay. I Brett, could, you won last time. You get to putt first. I can see how uh, if any of those were your names, you would want to change it. Uh, Supersonic Sound Emporium, there's so many letters. Sound of Music is the name of a famous movie, Link. So I doubt that that's it. Which the leaves hills are me alive. With Boss Sound Town, and it also has a B in it. BST is best. So I want to go to Boss Sound Town, but here's the problem. It's on the right side, and this turntable, my friend, and that turntable, my friend, are both rotating this way. Yeah, so if would, I go on that side, it's gonna send me back. Or is it gonna send me back? <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna be a sucker and try to go completely around them. I'm no, gonna go on the tables. That's fun in that. Get on the dance floor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get right through here, but I think it's gonna throw me off to Boss Sound Town. Fate may have a different answer in mind, but let's see. Oh, whoa, yes, whoa. what? Oh, <laughs> Did you? Yeah, that's right, boss out there. It was like a, it snaked. At this point, fate has determined for me that I am right. Boss Sound Town. Now, Boss Sound Town, BST, BST, best. I think that some writer came up with that. Okay. All right. I think it's Supersonic Sound Emporium. I mean, this is the late 70s, early 80s. Supersonic, man. Yeah, okay. All right, going for this area. <laughs> I don't want the same thing to happen to me, except I wanted to go into Sound Emporium. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was, that was, this is the craziest hey. undulation of putting. That's a gimme. You don't even have to do it. I'll give it to you. Okay, Stevie, so let us have it. From 1966 to 1983, someone at corporate must have had an affinity for musicals and frolicking around on hilltops because Best Buy's original name was no. The Sound of Music. Okay, well, I'm, I know why they changed it. Because <laughs> that, that would was... be infringement. Okay, all right, well, we're tied. If I'm not mistaken, this is a recreation of a Best Buy parking lot with one driver. Oh, it's active. From the Geek Squad. The Geek Squad car is in he's motion. A, he's a little big for his convertible. Okay. Oh, uh, he's got the three point turn now. Well, four point turn, five point turn. Okay. Oh, watch out for that car. Okay, six point turn. Oh, wow, he's, he's pretty good, he's pretty good. Okay. People have really not done a good job with the carts in this one. Okay, Stevie, what are we trying to do? 
The Geek Squad, Best Buy's famed repair service technicians, like to think of themselves as a tight-knit community, a community that loves to celebrate one particular national holiday. What holiday do all Geek Squad members observe? Is it National High Five Day, <laughs> Draw a Picture of a Bird Day, Whoa. or National Talk Like a Pirate Day? Okay. Okay, the only one I've heard of is Talk Like a Pirate Day, and so that's gonna be my guess. You're going first because we're tied. The Geek Squad is aggressively getting in my way. Uh, Sorry, I'm just turning around. Uh, Take yeah. your time, Chase. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, what were you thinking there? Well, that was a stroke. That's one. Okay, and... Oh! Nice! Oh, okay, whoa, oh, now I've got trouble, though. Now I've got trouble, Link. Yeah, put that cart in whatever hole he's going for. I don't think there's any way I can get into Talk Like a Pirate Day, but I've got to. <laughs> Try. <laughs> okay, okay, that's... That's a bit illegal. That, that's not fair, man. <laughs> I'm just, that, I'm sorry. I mean, push, I, push it on by. <laughs> well, you're not going in that hole. He actually little, helped push you. A little bit further. Oh, come just, on. Yeah, yeah, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Yep. That's Smash enough. it. You can do it. Okay. Okay, all right, so for four, I'm in to talk like a pirate day. Four strokes. Link, you got quite an opportunity here. The thing is, people make up a day for every day of the year True. 10 times over. True. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna let fate decide. Would you like me to move the cart out of the middle? For now, I wanna leave it. Uh... Oh, there he is. I think it's National High Five Day. Okay. But hold on, you know what? Just remembered, I have the Express Checkout. Ah, uh, yes, you which do. Which I would like your assistance. You take this uh, one. Okay, okay. And then That's I'm gonna right. take you, this you one. It? Since I've lost so many times, I have the option of <sighs> an advantage, and I'm gonna use it to go into National High Five Day and take the lead. Okay. Here we go. Am I allowed to Because that it? seems like something that a team of a squad would do. You can't do much here, uh, Geek Squad boy, can you? <laughs> Hold in one! <laughs> okay, hold in one. You don't celebrate it too much. Don't celebrate it too much. <laughs> yeah, I worked hard for that. You used the tube. While all three holidays are real, ah. two of them are not the right answer. They the are. Geek Squad loves to celebrate National Talk Like a Pirate no! Day. All right, but still, I was in for four and you were in for the wrong answer for one, so you still three. win the round. Oh, we got some big signs with professionals on it. But hey, before we hear what this is all about, have you heard about the new Mythical Green Grooming Collection? I have. We got all types of stuff. We got Mythical Pomade. We got a brand new Mythical Clay Pomade. Yeah, we got, we got Beard Balm in addition to the beard oil. We got, oh crap. We got, got a new lip balm flavor. And the old lip balm flavor. We got lotion. Whew, and we've got a musical comb that plays the GMM theme. And a whole bag to put it in. What? And we're probably missing part of it. Mythical.com. Okay. In 2010, Best Buy hired a new VP of Consumer Affairs, which is basically the person responsible for investigating consumer complaints. However, this hire had a much different career before coming to Best Buy. What was the VP of Consumer Affairs' previous occupation? Was he a professional bounty hunter, CIA intelligence officer, huh. or game show host? Customer affairs, you say? Huh, a lot of affairs. Consumer. Consumer affairs. A lot affairs. of consumers have affairs at Best Buy. You go into that theater section in the back where it's dark. I mean, I don't think it's the bounty hunter. <laughs> this is a crapshoot. Plus, it's kind of a crapshoot to even get to, to the get holes. To get to the holes, yeah. Because th these these rotate, so if I bonk this hard, it's gonna rotate. But whatever you bonk stays that way for me when I go. They're not reset, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna bonk the CIA intelligence officer, and you know what? That's also your I guess. I think that's also my guess. Oh, oh, man! Whoa, a serious, double bonk! A serious bonk. It hit it twice, but then it stayed right here. So I gotta pull this back a little bit. I can come off that far. Woo! Oh, that wasn't bad. CIA officer in three. What do you think it is? Professional bounty hunter. No one moves on from bounty hunting. 
Once you find that career, you stick with it. That's my experience, at least. Game show host, not a serious personality, not a serious person. I, I can see it being game show host. I think a CIA officer as well. I gave you a little window. You gave me a window, and my guess is the same as yours. I'm gonna take advantage of going second by being behind a little bit. Try to sneak past that. Woo, you snuck. Okay, and I'm gonna try to drop into the CIA hey, officer. Okay, all right. Well, if we are both right, then you we're, have tied. We're tied even if we're both wrong too, technically. In 2010, Best Buy hired a fellow named Bill Hoffman, who served as their senior vice president of consumer affairs for three years. Though we don't know if Hoffman ever crossed paths with Jason Bourne, we do know that he was once a CIA intelligence yeah, that's officer. Right. Yeah. Give me the I'll hand, shake your hand and do the thing with my finger. Oh, please do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it appears that we have an inverted gift card gauntlet here. And a windmill. Yeah, we do. With Best Buy signs. Crank her up, Chase. You don't, can do it, women. Don't break it. It just takes a little bit of a, better, a jump start. It just, you know, it just takes a jump start. Just what our economy needs. I think he just spun it, and this is just the momentum of his It's Chase. Spin. This is, <laughs> this is just Chase's spinner. ability. It's going to go forever. He's uh, a perpetual motion machine. That is a fast windmill. OK, guys, it's the final question. So you know what the question is that I'm about to ask The you. most expensive, expensive item at Best, Best Buy. Exactly. So your choices are the Kef Muon, which is a pair of 10-inch four-way floor loudspeakers featuring six woofers and a low-frequency driver to produce earth-shattering bass, all wrapped in curved aluminum shell cabinets. Okay. The Viking, a 48-inch self-cleaning freestanding oven range that comes with double ovens and a built-in griddle for added convenience. Or the LG 77-inch Class ZX Series OLED 8K Smart TV featuring self-lit pixels, Dolby Vision IQ, and a thickness of only 1.3 inches. 1.3 inches? That's not thick. Okay. Wow. Uh, 77 inch. Since since we're tied, and I won the last game, that you're gonna played. put I go first. first. Now, getting through the Best Buy windmill is the biggest challenge of this thing because I don't think there's any way I can time it. I think I just have to hope for the best. You might as well be blindfolded. Now, my guess is, well, I, I'm having trouble between the speakers and the oven. Really? I know those Viking ovens can get very expensive. Mm-hmm. This is a double. And it's self cleaning. You hear that? Freestanding. Uh, those speakers sounded really special though. Six woofers. Okay. Uh, Point blank range windmill action. I just don't know if I can get through this thing. And oh, he did it! Uh, it, it, it but it kind did, of was that educated. Uh, I was using that. Hear that noise yeah. that is making. I was just kind of timing it to that, but I don't even know what that noise is. All right, get it up the hill. So I'm gonna kind of go for the middle and let fate decide here. Oh, oven! Oven, it is. Going for the Viking. Uh, oven three, and three strokes against all odds. Okay. Dang it, man! I mean, I think that's birdie material. You There's no birdie? way you can do more. I think you can get all the way strokes. through. I think Dang you can get a hole in one. You got to really whack the crap that. out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll spin it. I'll spin it. I'll spin it. Uh, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's what? fine. Hold on, you can't disable the windmill. Get that thing spinning. There we go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you lucky dog, spinner. man. Hey, time it with that little swish, 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 and go on move. the swish. Go on the swish. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, you, you got through. You got through, so you don't have to go through I it mean, again. I mean, it launched. It, it launched from here and landed over there. Yeah, yeah. You got you got through. That so you, was the you don't have to go through again. You just have to do from here. So this is your third shot. What's your guess, by the way? I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's the speakers. I hope it's the TV. Unless I can get it in an oven right now with this stroke and we tie and it is oven, my only hope is that it's the TV and I can get it in two strokes. And tying won't help you because I keep the green jacket. That's right. You have so to, I got to go for TV. You have to take it from me. You took out a business card. 
Oh, it's not a business card. It's a gift card. This is my this is your fourth, fourth shot. Stroke. Whatever your guess is, if you're correct, you win. As long as you get it in in this stroke. But you have to be correct in your guess. Okay. If it's TV, you win. If it's anything else, I win. Come on, Stevie. If you're having a hard time hearing me give the answer, try listening through the most expensive item at Best Buy, the pair of Kef Muon floor standing loudspeakers coming in at $224,999. It's just six subwoofers. Well, six subwoofers, I never heard of that many. That's crazy. Well, Link, all I can say is that we were both wrong, which means I retain the green <laughs> jacket. Oh. I'm getting used to putting this thing on. Ugh. Well, oh, yeah. one of these days. One of these days. One of these days. But until then, thanks for commenting, subscribing, and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jade. And I'm Gideon. And we just played adventure golf in the Drakensberg in South Africa. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Adventure golf? What's that's, that? That's what we just did, man. That's what we just we did. We did adventure. Put put. Yeah. Click the top link to watch us play Move It Out on the Nintendo Switch and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Our grooming collection is growing. Shop the expanded Mythical Grooming Collection now at mythical.com.